Hi, it's Carl from Village Wine and Spirits in Newark, New York. Uh, in this series of episodes, we'll discover artisan cognac with Nicholas Palazzi, uh, how it's made, aged, and uh, how to enjoy it. Uh, Nicholas is very informative, and I uh, hope you can learn something new. You still, when you compare one to the other, there is still uh, there, there's the same uh, there's the same difference. The glass number one uh, on the right is uh, there's like a, a round, smooth kind of butterscotchy quality to it, uh, almost like coffee like. Uh, when uh, and it's it, it shares the same char characteristic as the, the cognac number one uh, we've tasted. Glass on the the one on your left is much more intense. Uh, as I said, a bit more, uh, more fragrant, uh, a bit more intense. Uh, the uh, the the um, the proof is a bit higher, but that's it's actually it's actually true. The, on the glass number one, proof is 80. Glass number two, proof is 86. Uh, now it's uh, you, you really feel that it's the first it's the first two cognacs that that have been uh, um, concentrated. So you have the same you have the same type of flavor profile. But it has evolved. The uh, inside the, the liquid inside has uh, got oxidized with time, uh, in contact with the air through the pores of the wood, and uh, you move from you know those like flowers and fruit you could smell and taste in the first two ones, um, to more evolved uh, type of flower uh, smells and, and aromas like you know. Uh, uh, what do you what do you guys smell? You guys you guys smell some like tobacco, leather, these kind of things, mocha, coffee, these kind of stuff. You don't you're not you're not into you're not into the fresh fruit anymore, or the or the, the, or the, the blossoming flowers, but more into you know the cigar type of thing, the mocha, the coffee. When they when they age, when cognac age, uh, it, you know the, you, you evaporate alcohol, you evaporate water in the cask, and so you you concentrate the aromas. And, and and that's 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 uh, that's that's what happened. So those two uh, those two cognacs or blends. That's the average age of the blend is 30 years old. The first cognac, uh, it's a blend of two different years, and the second one is a blend of five different years. And this is pretty. It's it's pretty different as far as uh, you know, uh, most of the cognacs that you're going to find on the market. Uh, once again, just to illustrate that those cognacs are to be treated really like wine, and those would be your when the first one would be the equivalent of the you know the young young Bordeaux, for example. This is you know Bordeaux with age. 